Fresh up afraid too. Now that you're not a Zidai, the man of the Chile. So today we will experiment uh, with the wine. First experiment um, watermelon wine, in fact. If watermelon, what about that? So, um, yeah, so I went on to the Vajwan. Hopefully, it was not the way, the way, just the way, 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 so let's do a quick run and to the man that's on now. So this is the most important thing you could ever have. It looks plain and simple. You can make it at home. We want to try customizing a few buckets and making some of these things. But it's what you really need. It's a fermentation bucket. As you see, it has that little hole there. We're going to explain later on what that's for. You have your own tap there. A thermometer even there comes in handy with plenty of stuff man. moving on to the next thing you've got this it's your airlock it goes right in there when the fermentation happens this guy is gonna show you that it's really really happening you see action in here you are fermenting right next we've got the yeast my guy now we're talking high alcohol percentage something around 15 percent alcohol you're gonna get really hammered my guy never doubt next hydrometer we measure the sugar level of this and it also tells you the potential alcohol level that's gonna be in your wine we've got fining agents to give it that nice beautiful clear color we've got some nutrients there we've got a stabilizer there we've got some acid going we've got some bentonite going and lastly We've got our sanitizing powder. Gotta keep it clean, otherwise you're gonna get people sick, ne? <laughs> Remember that word. And we've got the watermelon! Le chap. We're gonna start by juicing this guy. Now, if you want to use juice, like juice from a bottle, from a shop, be careful, you might be having some preservatives in there that's gonna stop your fermentation from happening. So I recommend going natural, get some juice, Get your hands dirty, juice it yourself. Come on now, join us as we do this one, yeah? So we are cutting our watermelon so that we can juice it, get as much stuff as going out of it. And in the meantime, my brother is gonna be busy sanitizing our buckets and all the other equipment. And please make sure your hands are always clean I've got some bleach water over there for washing my hands. I've got a set of sanitizing powder here as well. We cut, cut, we cut, cut, and we chop, chop. It's gonna be a messy, messy process. So I've got my sieve here. I'm gonna cut into this thing here and use a potato mesher. Mesh, 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 so I can get the pit out. So sometimes what happens is the potato measure doesn't get the job done just right and you gotta go in there with your own two bare hands and you squeeze the juice out of it just 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 squeeze the juices after cutting out the flesh from the watermelon whatever red part is left don't leave it there that's important that's juice get the stuff out use a spoon getting as much red as possible get it all out into your sieve and then you wanna squeeze and squeeze and squeeze we're trying to get seven, seven liters right we've got two large watermelons we need seven liters of watermelon juice right now after two watermelons and two hours of squeezing this is what we have about 10 liters of pure watermelon juice and we're gonna combine this with 10 liters of boiling water and about 5 liters of cold water to make about 25 liters of wine. Join us as we sift this one last time to get rid of the peeps and whatever undesirables are in there. Save it my guy. Give us that 
nice light reddish something like a sweet hope you know hopefully 15 percent so jimmy can get hammer <laughs> jimmy! so guys this is our hydrometer we're gonna use this to check our specific gravity reading which is going to tell us the potential alcohol level of our beverage all right we are right there at eight gives us 10 percent alcohol we prefer 15 but i think for the sake of the sugar we don't have can we do for now until next time